Hey, welcome back to the channel. Unless this is your first time, then welcome to the channel. So, I'm back on Hydranir. I haven't been on here in the save for quite a while. Um, I just kind of trashed the place and then left in my last video. I didn't know how uh, soon I'd be back. And, uh, of course, you know, with my luck, as soon as I stopped paying attention to the, the updates, this must have dropped. So, I'm a little behind and I didn't notice until... Uh, what's this necklace here? Is this what I think it is? this yep my infinite money necklace so yeah um i'm a little bit behind i only noticed because of other people uh making their videos about it so uh what i want to do here is um i noticed there's a new function and we can get rid of all the raw ore as well as the dirt chunks now and as you can see i've got stuff just kind of everywhere <laughs> to say the least um yeah it's bogging my game down a bit I don't know if you can see it on the recording, but I can definitely feel it. So anyway, there's also some new uh, electronics in the game. So I want to change all of these uh, Davids down here. <laughs> Huge pile of gold. Yeah, all these Davids, I want to change to the new um, powered Davids. So I don't have to be uh, changing all their, their uh, power bars all the time and that good stuff. So anyway, that's the last of this gold uh, pile. I'm not going to bother... Um, packing it into a thing, into a, a smelter. It's just not worth my time anymore, especially with this setup. So I'm just going to see how we can uh, delete all this stuff. Okay, so I think just uh, go to the settings, I'm guessing, here. And where is it? There, there we go. Gameplay. Okay, so we'll take off the, uh, the save the the um, the gold chunks there and we'll apply it and let's see how this works okay I'm loaded in and I seem to be inside of something I'm not sure exactly so I'm stuck and we'll head back down see if all the gold's gone okay down we go into my mine and all yep I thought it seemed a little laggy still, so the gold's still here. So let's try it in game now. So it's still not, yeah, it's it's off. So let me try this again. Okay, loading back in, and yay, all the gold's gone this time. And I can already see the diff or feel the difference. So now I get to go. Uh, go I think I have enough money in the truck. Yeah, everything looks all cleaned out. Nice. We still have every... Yep, okay, good. Yeah, it doesn't delete the stuff that's in the smelter, so that's good. Okay, so... Now we just need to start going and checking out all the, uh, the electronics stuff that they have at the store now. Okay, coming into town here, and let's check out all the new stuff. That looks pretty similar over on the... That side there. What's... What's that? That's different. Let's check that out. So what's this? Oh, okay. Um... Oh, they're over here. All right. There's a, looks like a few of them. Wooden cart. What are these ones over here? Fast wooden cart. And agile wooden cart. Okay. Is a, what's the difference between fast and agile? Here's another agile. Okay. So do I have to buy one of each here? Or, oh, I think I just... Oh, okay. Okay. I just grabbed one, so you can try them out in the store. That's cool. All right, it's gone now. So you can't turn when you're holding the cart, like, with the mouse. You have to turn with the the arrow keys, almost like you're driving when you're holding the cart. Even though you can't see the cart, so it's kind of counterintuitive. It's a little weird. But, um, yeah, this is, this is cool. If this helps me move stuff, uh, that'll be nice. So, um, it seems like the difference here is yeah the agile one turns much better than the fast one so i think i'm just going to take the fast one though because i don't really like turns tur seems to turn good enough so um yeah i guess that's the difference between the carts is the uh, difference between the agile and the fast is fast must go faster and the agile one turns better so let's uh buy one of these here and uh throw in the back of the truck yeah <laughs> Yeah, I guess you need to be uh, conscious of which way you're facing when you grab it since it just goes behind you whatever direction you're facing. Let's see. 
Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that works. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. Nope. Mm -hmm. Nope. Not working. Uh, not working. <laughs> so, yeah, there, let's try it mm -hmm. this way. Okay, so I guess uh, to load it, you don't even actually have to get in the bed of the truck. You can just stand at the edge and jump. All right, so this is the same recycle place. Looks like a random block of recycled stuff. I guess I'll grab that because it should have gotten deleted if it would uh, would have got deleted with the raw material. So let's check out this uh, this store. See, it looks like everything's the same in here. Nothing's changed in here. So. Yeah, conveyor. Everything's got signs now. That's kind of cool. Looks like everything's the same in here. Okay. How about in here? Yep, all the same still. So he doesn't. Um, looks like he doesn't change stores. He just adds on new ones, which is kind of cool. I mean, um, he, I know he's changed some of the stores already, but yeah, it looks like uh, that's all that happened this expansion. No changes, just additions. <laughs> so what's up here? Anything back here? Can't grab that. That's where he used to be able to buy vehicles from, if you remember. <laughs> it's kind of funny how he made it all dilapidated now. <laughs> Alright. We can go over this bridge now. I don't think we could do that before. I'm pretty sure. I don't remember being able to. So, what's this? Power and logic. Okay, that's what we were looking for. So, okay. So, let's get the truck and bring it up here. All right, so up this way before is where you get the blueprints. Looks like, uh, yeah, that's straight ahead on the boats where you get the blueprints. Oh, past it. Need to go to the right there. Yeah, looks like that's the new spot. It's all lit up for us. Hard to miss. Okay. Things turn so slow. <laughs> oh, well, I wonder what that's from. <laughs> wonder how that got there. I know I've lost pieces before, but uh, yeah, I guess I'll just pick these up and throw them in the back. How, how many are here? I thought there was just one piece of cement, but there's two, three. <laughs> Is there any more? Okay, just three. All right, we'll stick those in there for now. And uh, that too, and then we'll go check out the new uh, Power and Logic stuff. That looks about good. Park here. Okay, what's this? Logic dynamite. Okay. So it's a logic bomb. <laughs> is, that, is that what it's supposed to be? <laughs> okay. Legs. I don't know what that means. I'll have to try that out to figure it out. Um, yeah, I don't, I, don't, I don't think I'm gonna know what a lot of this stuff is here. I have no idea what that means, putting legs on it, though. I'm, Try that out. So, uh, okay, inverter. I think I'm gonna have to do a whole episode just on what each of these does here, but uh, I, I don't even know yet, so I'll have to figure it out. And then, um, I mean, I've used the logic before, like if you've seen my other videos, you know that I've done a lot of uh, wiring and like rust and other games. Um, with, uh, Scrap Mechanic, that's the name of the other one. It has a lot of wiring in it. But um, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what these are. I'm trying to like relate them in my head to like an and switch, an or switch. Um, some of them are making sense, but um, yeah, we'll we'll just have to look at these later. All right, I got a load of stuff, but it started getting all glitchy with the blocks of cement in there and the pallet and the cart, which are two things that carry stuff. And yeah, so I'm just gonna make a quick trip home with. Uh, what I've got so far and I'll unload that and see what I can start setting up now but um, yeah I couldn't fit more in the truck because like I said there's just too many there, you know the truck bed carries st uh, stuff in a certain way the cart carries stuff in a certain way and the uh, pallet carries stuff in a different way and it was all like glitching on each other so um, I'll just come back here and throw it all down my skylight <laughs> Boop. Uh, nope, can't, can't see, can't, huh? nope, Oop. yeah, that's what I thought. Anyway, I'll uh, get all this stuff down there, and then uh, I'll start setting it up, hopefully. 
Okay, so I'm trying out the cart here, and it seems to have um, the same kind of physics as the truck bed, where uh, it stuff like collapses into each other instead of uh, like the pallets where everything stacks on top of each other, which is nice. Um, Cause yeah, that means we can carry much more that way. So I'm trying to get everything into the the cart, and um, yeah, it seems pretty handy. I'm just gonna take it down to the bottom this way. Okay, well here's one issue about the car is uh, it's hard to get the specific thing you want out of it when everything's completely stacked on top of each other. So uh, I'm trying to get the, the reactor here set up so that I can start powering things, running power lines to everything. There's the reactor. It looks like it's got two outputs, so I'm trying to get, uh, get it all set up here. Um, just going to get those... Yeah, just gonna shut that off so it stops making as much noise, and I can set up uh, this. Here we go. Set this up here, and uh, that way. I mean, I guess it's kind of the same thing. Only now it's gonna require power, but this way, instead of putting out 50% um, pressure, it'll be putting out 100% pressure with this powered one, or at least that's what it says on its notes. So uh, let me get this set up, and then I'll come back when we're turning the power on. So I realized I was setting up the the power the reactor here wrong. Um, it doesn't have two outputs. It actually it requires water. There, see now you can see the electricity coming out of it. So um, yeah, it doesn't have two outputs. It has an, a water input and a power output. And the way you can tell the difference is the power lines have like two little like prongs inside the end. See how you can see them there. And then the water obviously is the that um, bronze color and. Uh, Looks like the pipe there, yeah, on the, on the other side. So um, I've got the first David here. I'm taking off the, the second uh, old style David, and I'll be replacing this. <clears throat> and um, yeah, I think I saw a grinder there. At first I was like, oh, why would I want to grind up stuff when you can recycle it? But now I'm starting to think I might just buy one of those grinders, and as I take uh, an old part off, I'm just going to grind it and get it out of the game. Um, yeah, there it is. I bought one of everything, even though I was like, oh, I'll never use this, and now look at it, I'm already hooking it up, so I'm glad I bought it. So uh, I'm going to get this set up, and then as I take off the old Davids, I'm going to grind them, and then I'm going to put on the new Davids and get this all uh, electrical powered. So it um, seems kind of tedious to make you guys watch, so I'll try to cut to something a little more interesting again, because, um, yeah, they were there, see, there's working. Actually, let's try this out first. Let's um, see how this works. I don't need, what's well, something I don't need? I don't need that. Okay. <laughs> Haven't played in a while. I was hitting the wrong buttons. Okay, so, um, uh, okay. No. How do you grind it? <laughs> it just stops. Okay. Um, so how do you, how do you grind it? <laughs> it's too big to grind, or like, or it's too small to grind anything. Everything's too big for it. Look at that. Is that... What am I doing wrong? Is there a button I'm supposed to press? Hmm. That's not doing it. <laughs> it's the same size as the grinder. How's it supposed to work? Hmm. There we go. You gotta tilt it in. Okay, well, I'm sure there's a better way. I'll, I'll try to figure out that later. Because um, uh, how the hell is this going to go in now? <laughs> how am I going to get this in there? <laughs> um, there's got to be a better way <laughs> to do this. <laughs> It's like perfectly sitting on the top. How, how is it supposed to grind it? Now, now I'm opening doors. Come on, get the right spot and drop. <laughs> how can it get in any, any more than that? Hmm. Well. This can't be, I, can't, I gotta be doing something wrong. What am I doing wrong here? <laughs> it's too big to tilt in. <laughs> hmm. Well, let me try to figure this out, and then, 
yeah. Oh, 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 got it, okay. So you just, um, you just clip it inside the, the grinder and then let it go. No, that's the wrong kind. Okay, let's see how this logic valve works here. Put this on. And uh, this way I won't have to go all the way down to the bottom to turn everything on and off every time. That'll be kind of nice. So, uh, grab my switch. Okay, let's get this switch placed and see how this thing works. I don't think it needs power. I don't see where the power would go in. It looks like it just has to be uh, the logic line. Uh, if you didn't notice, there are two different kinds of lines. There's the logic, new logic line and new power lines. And, uh, okay. Uh, looks like water. That's what I want, right? I don't know what these symbols all mean. I'll just put it on water since that's a uh, question mark. You don't know what you're turning on and off? <laughs> so is that working? Is that working? Does that do anything here? Oh yeah, yeah, okay, that's that's all then. Just gotta switch it and there it goes. Okay, that works. Okay, I got most of the wiring done. Um, I got all the uh, the Davids wired up and I even got the, um, the power changed a little bit down here. See, there's all the, all the lines are all uh, pink now for the power. And, um, but wouldn't you know it, the new power um, uh, filter. Yep, look at that, it's already broken. And I haven't even turned anything on yet. That's just from it, you know, running in the background basically. So, uh, and I wanna change those power pods and take off that other filter. Like, yeah, it's, I haven't even turned it on once yet and it's already broken. So, um, one thing I saw at the logic shop is that there are um, basically like a, a logic uh, magnifying glass. See, I bought one there and a um, logic um, repair thing. So um, I'm gonna try to set those up so that they, um, it'll auto repair that filter every time it breaks. You just have to, to fill the repair thing with, um, with wrenches. I just need to figure out how to do that exactly because it says that um, anything, any input above one will make it repair. So, but it, it, if it's above one, see how it's a zero now? So anything above one will make it repair. But that doesn't make any sense to me because that means that if your thing doesn't need a repair, that's the only time it's gonna repair it. So I'm gonna have to find the right logic gates to like maybe invert it or, or something along those lines. Or um, or you know, you know what I think I'll do? Is I think I'll take uh, one of the equals gates where if the two values are equal, then it outputs a one, right? So, I'll get one of the keypads and I'll set it to zero so when the magnifying glass thing there reads zero as in the the uh, filters broken then they'll equal the same thing and it'll output a one and that should make it send out a wrench to repair so let's see if that works okay so I, I logged out and I logged back in and some of my pieces disappeared including my reactor but I think I got everything repaired now and set up again. So there's my keypad. And uh, those, uh, yeah, those are going. Okay, I can see them spinning at the bottom. Um, yeah, like I said, when I logged back in, there was some uh, pieces of my, yeah, there it goes. There were some pieces of my wiring that were missing, that my reactor was missing, a couple of my other parts were missing. So anyway, um, this is my, my little repaired setup there. So now we can just turn everything on like this. Yep, seems to be working. Turned it on for a second, then I turned it right back off. That's why there's dirt already on there. But, um, and of course that causes a jam. But um, yeah, I realized I wasn't recording. I was like, oh, I turned it off before any of the dirt actually went through. So this is the first dirt to actually go through the harvesters. And um, it's looking pretty good so far. All right, everything's going good. Oh, and I changed this, that's right. That's the other thing I did, is I made it so that now this little uh, gem compressor just goes straight out, uh, the gem conveyor belt goes straight onto that, so all I have to do is come down here and hit it every once in a while to take a bunch of the lag out of the game. And otherwise, I just need to make sure everything's going into the smelters, right? So um, that should, yeah, see, just like that. 
So that should be working pretty well. I also grabbed a, a counter and um, I put it over here on the gold thing and see how it's, you can see that, uh, well not now, saw it for a second there. Yeah, the, the green like lightning stuff was coming out of the edge of it. Um, I don't know, I don't think you need to wire it in. Let's look here. Yeah, see the green uh, wire? Yeah, the green logic, I guess, coming out of it. Oh yeah, see, it's counting. So yeah, you don't need to, um, you don't need to plug it into anything unless you need the output to shut off at a certain point or something. I'm not sure why you'd want it to do that. Um, personally, uh, yeah, I'm just going to leave it un unwired to anything just so I get an idea of um, how long I've been running each time, right? I should put one on those other ones too. Okay, so everything looks like it's going pretty good with the new setup. Of course, gems still jam a little bit. Not too bad though. Alright. Okay, so let me show you how I ended up uh, wiring up my um, my little auto repair thing for the filter here. So that thing's basically a magnifying glass that sends the logic over and around to this, um, this splitter. See, it's got the equals things on it. When both the A and B input are the same, so you got the, the keypad on this side. So the keypad's entering a zero, and when the other side gets a zero from the, um, the filter being 100% broken, it'll trigger the little repair thing there to, uh, to send over a wrench and repair it. And then see, I've also got the uh, all the pressure pods, all the water pressure pods are all wired up now up here, so that everything's getting 100% pressure right at the right at the end. So there's not a single pipe between um, my 100% pressure pods and the uh, the harvesters. So I'm getting the max out of that. And then um, you yeah, know, all the Davids now are getting 100% pressure instead of the 50 that they were getting. So uh, I don't know if that makes a difference, though. I don't think it does. And then. Um, yeah, all my extra stuff I've been throwing up there. I think I'm going to grind a bunch of that just to see if there, I can reduce the lag at all. All right, so now that I got the grinder set up better, let me show you how this thing works. So you just clip it inside, and you want it to be like right where the grinding part is when you let go, basically. And see, I moved up my... Um, my reactor for just for better access of everything so yeah water goes in one side power comes out the other and as long as the lids closed and there's a um, there's a bar inside then it'll be fine this you close the lid with a, a left click open and close and um, yeah that probably just caused a huge jam because uh, everything just started and stopped with things on the belt but well that'll be okay because now I can just uh, save and, and uh, get rid of all the dirt clods and all the loose um, the loose ore, which is really nice for my uh, my my CPU and my video card. Speaking of video cards, I can't be the only one out there that's absolutely like like can't believe how long it's been since uh, they they quote unquote released the 3080, and uh, we still can't get it in stores. Every time I look, it's sold out. I mean, I'm not looking every five minutes, obviously, but every single time I've looked at like new egg, I still can't get a 3080. It's driving me nuts. Uh, I got the money just waiting, but uh, whatever. <laughs> yep. So um, I think that's about it for this episode. I think uh, on the next episode I'll try to get, like I said, uh, it looked a little gold. This is, yeah, it's cloudium. Okay, uh, making sure that the gold didn't get in there and overtake the cloudium. It's just really goldish colored, I guess. But um. Anyway, so in the next episode, I'm going to try and uh, show what each logic piece does. I've got a plan for um, how to display that really well. So um, if you need to know how the, how the logic gates, all the new logic gates work, then um, subscribe, like, comment. It all helps me, and uh, hopefully I'll see you next time. So uh, take it easy. Love ya.